Welcome back to my channel guys. It's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. Today I wanted to talk about something that I saw going around on Instagram and they were kind of bickering about this topic and I kind of have my own opinion on these, this topic but there was a young lady, I'm not even sure what her name was, and she did a reel and she basically was saying that she doesn't shop at she it's Shein, right? I think it's, is it called Shein or Shein? Whatever, whatever. So, which to me, that is like in the same family as Fashion Nova. So she was like, you know, she doesn't do it or whatever, blah, blah, blah. So people were in the comments and they were just kind of like disagreeing with her, saying that they can make it look very um, expensive, this and this and that. So let's, let's get this out the way. As a stylist, I do not recommend women buying clothes from fast fashion brands to build a wardrobe. If you are trying to build an entire wardrobe, that is not where you should go. However, it doesn't mean that you can't buy some pieces from there. So they were kind of going back and forth. So here's my popular opinion. Is that how you call it? Um, I don't recommend it. And it's not because it's not a you know high-end brand or anything like that it's solely because of quality quality is by far the number one thing that you need in your wardrobe okay it doesn't matter the designer brand because some designer stuff are made really cheap and i think i showed you guys these leather pants these faux leather pants that were um damn near like four hundred dollars or maybe 450 and they tore on me and they weren't even freaking leather they ripped the first day well this the seam came out which leads me to something that i spoke about recently on my instagram about training your eye to look for good quality clothes and looking at the seam of things is extremely important and i'm going to show you guys because i <laughs> okay so the first pants that pretty much popped open on me <laughs> i like them um so i bought them again in a different color but i bought a size up <laughs> but I, I don't think it really mattered but you can tell now if i wear these i'm just gonna come close oh you probably can't even see i should pull the dark ones i don't know if you can see but the seam is here it's a simple stitching right and if you come inside this is how much uh, I don't know if you guys can see this but the stitching is like right here so I have about less than an inch to I don't know can you guys see that okay yeah you could it's so bright less than an inch um, of material that's extra so these may not pop open <laughs> like the other ones did but I'll say this just because it costs money doesn't mean that the quality is the best. And we know this based off of buying things from Louis Vuitton, okay? They're canvas coated bags. They are something that is classic, right? But they don't last forever. Now I had this bag here for <laughs> so many years. I'm gonna show you guys. This speedy bag, I had this speedy bag since this bag was $650. I I don't even have my cell phone in here to tell you how much this bag costs today. But what I tell you, this bag is destroyed, okay? Destroyed. I have other leather bags, strictly leather bags that look really, really good. And so my point is, <laughs> Try to always go for quality over quantity over the designer name. And the reason why I'm saying that is because some, like I said, some designers, they do not put the best quality into their stuff. So anyway, so back to the conversation, they were going back and forth and I saw so many mixed comments. Like people were like, oh, I can make it look expensive. I, you know, it doesn't matter 
you know, maybe you can't afford it, all this stuff. So when it comes to making something look expensive, that's fine, but you are wasting money in the long run. Why? Because you're going to have to replace it quicker than you would if you purchased something that was a little bit more money and better quality, right? Yes, quality does cost more money, but you don't have to break the bank. You have to just be a little bit strategic when you are shopping. So, like I showed you guys the other day, the blazer that I purchased, really nice blazer. It's lambskin. It's super nice. I saw it for $6.75, and I was like, okay, it's still not bad. It's lambskin. But it popped up cheaper on the actual website. So that was a win for me. I still got what I really, really wanted, but at a fraction of the price, right? Sweaters. When you're buying sweaters, that's another thing. I'm not really big on, I can show you guys some sweaters from Zara that are really, really nice. And they're thick. And I don't even know why I have it hung up. But I don't, you, ooh. I have a bunch of light colors. This is not even gonna be good because you're not gonna be able to see it. But they're really thick. So I pay attention to stuff like that when I'm shopping, regardless of the brand. Here's another top from Theory. This is like a one sleever with like a little bell sleeve, right? Um, this shirt, I wanna say it was damn near, mm, probably $300. But I don't think I paid full price for it. I don't um but the quality of this is good now it's not the best let me see if I can pull it no I probably tore off the tags because I know how I do this is tag uh. now here's the thing the material is not the best because it's made with polyester okay however how the sweater is designed, it's very, very good as far as, uh-oh, you know, very good as far as how the stitching is on here. So look at things like that, stretch your items apart, see if it, if it slings back to like its original um, position, like it slings back. This was a really good buy, um, but like I said, even though it's from Theory, they still use polyester, okay? So, <laughs> it doesn't matter. So, that was the first thing they said. So, then when it came to, or maybe they can't afford certain things. If you don't take anything else away in this video, always buy the best quality for your budget, okay? Shein and Fashion Nova brands are extremely fast fashion clothes, right? Those are the items that you'll probably wash twice and no good. You may not even want to invest and put it in something like that into the dry cleaners. So, like I said, go for something that is best for your budget instead of trying to just buy a bunch of stuff and just having a closet full of clothes. Um, white button up shirts, right? That may not be something, maybe, Maybe something like that you can buy from like a Shein, but just be strategic when you're buying it. So my opinion is I don't recommend shopping there because I am big on having stuff for a long time and things that are not going to be destroyed within two to three washes. Like it's just a no go for me. And I've always been like that. Uh, it is not to say that every piece in my wardrobe is top notch. Oh, let me think. What do I have here that is a little shaky? Hmm. These are from Express. Let me grab this skirt. This skirt is from Express. It's not real satin. However, something like this, I'm going to wear multiple times. Um, and I'm actually going to get this dry cleaned because of the material. It's not 100% satin, but I still think it can pass for it. And I actually think the stitching on here is really good. It has some darks in here in the back. It has some pleats in the front. So things like that. The belt is nice. The zipper is hidden. Oh, it's on this side. 
the zipper is hidden which is another good sign of buying something that is more of a luxury looking item um there are some big designers that actually don't even do this to their items so just start training your eye for things like that so i'm not saying that you can't ever buy anything from shein or fashion nova but i'm telling you you can look at girls do hauls and stuff um and compare some of the things yes a lot of them do get a lot of things gifted but be smart about it even if you like their style try to go for something a little bit more better in quality okay <laughs> so that conversation took place and like i said the just the mix of comments um you know i was just looking at some of the girls and i'm like oh, okay they may not be able to afford something that's why they were going so hard or they feel like they can make anything look expensive um it's not that it's really to me it really boils and this is my opinion it really it has nothing to do with looking expensive because the most the person with the most money has on the least logos right the least designer things that you can visibly see um so let's throw that out the window <laughs> So, but I, but I do feel like it boils down to the amount of money that you are actually going to be wasting and your cost per wear. Okay, let's take sunglasses. Listen, <laughs> oh my God. I have a lot of sunglasses. Some I paid full price and some I'm like, mm, no. And the reason why, okay, if you really take a look at sunglasses, it's a plastic or it's metal. And what the designers are doing is they're getting these frames. Hey, this is my frame. I'm going to plop my name on it. Everybody loves Prada. Prada, <laughs> Prada is one of those brands that I'm just not really too keen on. And the reason why is that logo is just this triangle and it's plopped on an item like a bucket hat, a plain bucket hat. But this logo is there. The quality of this hat is literally like a nylon hat. So what's the point? Um, I I don't know. And like I said, I do buy designer guys, but certain things I'm just not gonna do. Like, I ain't gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. But don't kill me. Let me know your opinion on that. Would you, like, are you that type of person? That's how I felt about the product, the boots, those boots with the little bag on the side, the little pouch. They were not my style, but they did have a pair that were cute more like uh slim but when i saw them in person they just looked extremely cheap to me like it looked like plastic and i'm just like i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm not gonna do it i don't care if the name is written all over it it's just not gonna happen i like things that have a nice look to it um i've purchased things from jc pennies that are nice right now granted it's just a white button up not like a full outfit but the shirt was actually nice. I'm gonna be able to wear that about quite a few times because I already know I'm gonna put it in the cleanest because it's white. Um, but with that conversation, I do feel like people are stuck in a in a bubble where they want to look expensive, opposed to having like great quality clothes. Um, I think I've mentioned this on a live on Facebook, Instagram, about just having quality things just in general. Trust me, you will wear your stuff a lot more. You will mix and match it a lot more. Um, you'll love it. You'll love it a lot more. Every, let me see, what else do I have here? The Aritzia tank tops. Those are about 70, either $79 or $89, something like that. But I love them. They're thick. They would probably be considered expensive for some but to be quite honest, they're so thick that I was just like, there was no way I was not going to get it. I think I've worn them twice each so far. Dry clean them, they still look good. That is what you call paying for something and getting your cost per wear out of it, right? I'm gonna have them next summer. I can probably still wear them in the fall under something, things like that. Um, and like I said, it doesn't really matter. Just start paying attention to the quality. I talk about Zara. 
Zara has certain items and here's one of the shirts. Is this it? Yep. They have certain blouses that are made in Turkey that are really good quality. But then, this is like a satin shirt. But then they have this other one from Zara. And this one is made in Indonesia. But the quality is trash. So things like that, right? You want to put your money on things that are a better quality. So Shein is a no for me. Um, <laughs> and I don't even think I've ever purchased anything from there. Nope, never. I, I can just tell, it kind of reminds me of Forever 21. It's just not something that I would do. It's just like a waste, but like I said, a lot of people like the fast fashion thing, so I'm not knocking them. This is solely for the girls who want to build an entire wardrobe full of things that they love and of good quality, okay? So, that is my opinion, guys. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. I just wanted to come on here and talk about that conversation that I saw on Instagram and, you know, just the mixed things that women were saying. Like I said, some were saying that they can make it look expensive. Some were like, oh, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, maybe they can't afford it, blah, blah, blah. But like I said, it boils down to you not having to keep rebuying something over and over and over again. So that is my opinion, guys, my unpopular opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Are you a person that does not care and would rather shop at Shein and like Fashion Over and like, what's the other one? Pretty Little Things. Um, I think there's more. Maybe ASOS, because I think it's a hey, ASOS, maybe a hit or miss. But are you that type of person? Like, would you just rather have a closet full of just fast fashion brands and trendy items or something with a mix? Some nice quality pieces and a mix of some high fashion, what is it? High fashion brands. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. But this is your girl Coco and I am signing off for today guys. So if you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco we see you. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NY and Coco Styles NYC. And then my personal blog Coco Styles NYC and then my styling service Coco Styles NY.com. Guys, the styling service is virtual. I did receive some questions from you guys about that it is a virtual styling services service if you're not in atlanta however the experience is still the same so i will catch you guys in the next one bye guys